my name is Gronya McCoy and I'm at the Shelburne Motors today with the Faster Project, a project supported by the European Union Interreg 5A programme and managed by the special EU programmes body. Have you seen a rise in interest from your customers coming in that want to change over or go from the transition from petrol to diesel into the electric cars? Yes, very much so. They're very topical at the moment. Um, the manufacturers are pushing quite hard because this is the new normal from 2030 onwards. Every car sold has to be electric. Mm -hmm. So um, they've brought a lot of the technology out now and we're starting to get used to that and the customers are very aware of that out in the public. Mm -hmm. Paul, could you tell me some of the uh, benefits for me to buy an electric vehicle? Cost ownership, number one. That's the, that's the it, top one, yeah, really, realistically. Me, like. Well, environmental, you know, it's, it's very uh, environmental friendly with zero tailpipe emissions. Um, Benefit and kind, if you're a business user, if you're putting it through your business, benefit and kind benefits um, there at the moment. Um, zero road tax currently. You know, so there's, there's lots there's of cost savings. There's some good savings. perks on yeah. that, isn't there? Yeah. When you're talking about electric cars and what's the range? I know I hear this word popping up a lot in the showroom today. Can you explain what that exactly means? Yeah. So it's the same as a petrol gauge in a car. You'll have an electric gauge or battery gauge in your, in your electric vehicle. Yeah. Um, and you just, when you're driving, and it'll go down and it'll predict how you're driving, whether it'll use more battery or whether it'll use less, or whether you have the heaters on and things like that. So okay. it's very clever technology. So it literally just tells you how many miles yeah. per charge. Per charge, or what you have left off right. of your battery. Right, okay, okay, yeah. I get you now. So the technology's improved that much. Yeah. Um, it used to be there were only 60 to 80 miles range in all okay. our cars. Now we're well over 300 miles, which is really the job done. Really. That's You're a massive working, so. jump, isn't it? It is. Technology's just great. It's improved so much. It's all predictive with your with your uh, battery as well to make sure that you're you're going to get the most out of it so do you think with that size of a range now it's actually taking the anxiety away from people to actually want to buy because i think that's was one of Definitely. the things wasn't it um the biggest challenge when the electric first came out is that the range was only 60 to 80 miles uh, now we see the range well over 300 miles mm -hmm. and that has taken that anxiety away people people are more comfortable with that um, not only that, the, the range is a, a very topical thing because it's not, people talk about you know, from, from empty to, to full, you're never really doing that, it's a bit like your mobile phone, so whenever you go home at night you plug your mobile in, you, you top it. it up because it's yeah. never empty, you come out the next day, it's full, away you go, if you come into your workspace or uh, into town shopping and you plug in again, you're topping up all the time, so it's never really that you're topping from zero to, to full. First impressions, I'm a little bit taken back that this is a Kia. Yeah. Like you would never think it. It looks like a really high tech spaceship. But is this is only you, isn't it? So this brand new and it's a full change within the brand as well. You'll notice the new logo. So this is ready to get people talking. It's so, very trendy. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. And the whole big dash display, you've got your two screens, mm -hmm. something completely new with Kia as well. Yeah. The massive thing about this car is just 328 mile range. Right. So on the leading in the EV industry. Uh, so we could go to Cork and back? Yeah. Oh, not back, that would be a lot. <laughs> you get that. Yeah. And um, the, the other thing is, if you get one of the rapid chargers, okay. you can actually change it from 10 to 80%. Our charger from 10 to 80% in 15 minutes. Right. So it is really, really good. Oh, that's quick. Yeah. Is owning an electric vehicle more cost effective for your customers or for anybody? Yeah, we, we certainly see our customers, um, they, they break down the total ownership cost. So you're looking at the price of fuel today. It's quite gone high. through the roof. Yeah. So you calculate your miles. Yes. Um, so looking at the total ownership package, it, it is better value on an EV. Mm -hmm. yeah. Paul, what advice would you give to somebody that would want to get an electric vehicle? Like if I was to come in and say, right, okay, I'm considering it, what, what, what would you advise me? Drive it. Just get in, drive it, see what you think. There's lots of myths out there, but when you drive on these vehicles, they're phenomenal. Absolutely. No, I'm completely, no, I completely agree because whenever I first heard um, about an electric vehicle, I thought, no, it wouldn't be for me at all. I don't think, because I like to put a bit of a pedal to the board. Yeah. So I thought, no, there's not going to be any sort of like, you know, feel to it. Oh, it's immediate. Honestly, it, yeah. it, it was completely, it shocked me. Yeah. And I think anybody that is considering from a purse, from a normal person, um, would be definitely to test drive it as well. Yeah.